Hi guys, in today's video I would like to show you how I've made these two games. They are basically the same, but this one is played by an AI, which uh, runs a uh, feedforward neural network and has supervised training. And this one can be played by a human using keys, WSAD, and you have basically limited moves, and each time you get the circle, your score increments so this is the way you can play it and when you run out of moves then the game is over so that's it and i would like to show you and compare uh, how i've made these games they are almost similar but uh, this so which runs an ai which is run uh, by an AI, uh, has this package with neural network. And uh, these are the training data. Uh, input just uh, tells where the food is, and output tells uh, which way to go. Uh, as you can see, these inputs are basically discrete, and outputs are also discrete. So it only tells the, the neural network uh, whether it should go up, down, right or left. And these inputs also just tells where the food uh, can be, you know, if it is below uh, or above uh, the hunter, that bigger ball. Basically, uh, here I have these two timelines. This one uh, is for the training, uh, which is launched only once, and this one is uh, launched indefinitely, and it is uh, launched right after the training is done, uh, which I, I can show you. Basically, here I have the stage, labels, these two buttons, which represents hunter and food, and in here you can see I have this uh, timeline for run mode and in here I have this uh, timeline for training and, uh, and it is launched only once and once this training is done then this uh, uh, run mode uh, timeline is basically launched indefinitely and that's the way it works and if you want to increase the speed of the game you can change the period how often uh, it should be launched so the lower the number the faster the game will go and down in here I have just uh, three functions which basically this one respawns the food and before it is respawned totally randomly it, it is checked uh, if it uh, overlaps with the hunter so it, it tries to generate the food uh, far away from the hunter so this is basically the one function and this one detects the collision and this last function uh, updates uh, all the stuffs like score and uh, tries to do stuff and when the when you run uh, out of the moves and uh, the game is over so that's basically it and in here I have this supervised training and when the error gets lower than 0.1 percent and also if the training passes are over 2000 then uh, the training is complete and uh, in here uh, I have this run cycle which basically fits in inputs and as I uh, told you before these are discrete they just uh, tells the neural network if the food is above or below the hunter and uh, those data are fit forwarded and then the neural network decides which way to go so that's basically it
and for this simple game it's almost the same but uh, in here I have only one uh, timeline which is for the movement and I have in here four uh, boolean uh, variables which represents uh, the keys and I have set up two key listeners uh, this one checks uh, if the keys were pressed and this one uh, checks uh, if the keys were released and uh, this timeline is almost the same as uh, the uh, run mode timeline of the neural networks so uh, this one just checks uh, also every 5 milliseconds uh, how the keys were changed uh, and it tries to move the ball so those circles and these three functions uh, are the same as uh, in previous project so here's the respond food detect collision and update stuff and so uh, instead of uh, neural networks run mode function i have these uh, functions which basically moves the ball so that's basically it but just for fun i can show you how it looks like when you speed up the game so I'm going to rewrite these 5 milliseconds into 1 millisecond and also in this project it's gonna be pretty difficult for the human but quite easy for an AI so this is AI and this is for me Whew. so it's quite difficult for me to catch the ball but it's quite easy for an AI uh, and by the way I have this in, on my github So it is uploaded up here and it's gonna be shared also. And if you want, uh, I also have uh, this neural network here in Java. So this is the clean fit forward neural network written in Java. And these are two projects that I made and showed you right here. So that's it. Thank you. Bye.